lot of African students have decided to relocate to Eastern Turkey to further their education in master's studies. But cybersecurity is an exception. I still remain your host on this talk show, Ken Williams, broadcasting live from Ego Studio. Here with me is my guest for today, Miss Josephine, a cybersecurity master's student. Miss Josephine, you're welcome on the show today. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Uh, Miss Josephine, I'll be asking some few questions about uh, cyber security and uh, you being a master's student here in Istanbul. Yes. Okay, so can you tell us more about yourself and what you do presently? Okay, uh, my name is Sophia Josephine and um, I am from Nigeria, Data okay. uh, State precisely. Uh, presently, I am in Turkey pursuing my master's degree in cyber security. So, I saw for now. Okay, um, so why did you choose cyber security? Why not um, other courses like maybe MBA, um, politics and international relations? Why cyber security? Okay, um, I choose cyber security because, okay, um, right from time, I loved um, computer. And uh, so it has been an inspiration for me to go into cyber security. And mm -hmm. also another reason is because um, in most part of the world, um, cyber security officers are from high demand presently. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the reasons that make, make me to pursue uh, cyber security. Well, that's really beautiful. But um, why did you choose? Oh, Istanbul, Turkey. Why not USA? Why not UK? Other countries? Why Turkey? Okay. Um, before now, okay, before I came to Turkey, um, I've heard of different countries and I've also heard of Turkey. So, and um, uh, I discovered with some of my friends and others, and they told me about um, Turkey that their education system is um, very good and uh, their economy also is of a good standard mm -hmm. so to be like a good opportunity for me to do my master yeah. in Turkey so and I choose in Istanbul because before now I was in Konya so because of my master I moved to, to Istanbul. Istanbul okay okay that's very beautiful um, so um, what school are you in presently? Oskoda University for those, is, it, is it just for masters or also for those that want to study their BSc? For oh, masters, BSc, PhD, any degree. School that university yes. is a good school. Yes. Okay. Um. So Miss Josephine here is a cyber security master student in um, Istanbul, Turkey here in Uskuda University. And our advice to everyone out there is that Uskuda University is a good university for both masters. PhD and BSc students. Thank you very much for that, Ms. Josephine. Okay, uh, my next question today is, uh, you, you, it, it's so obvious that you're passionate about cyber security, like you really love cyber security. So can you tell us uh, a little more about cyber security? What is it all about? Okay, um, cyber security, um, like, um, it's a very good cause and uh, presently in the computer world is um, of high demand presently and um, it's all about let me say um, system security application security um, and some um, software or address security and information file security and um, Prevention of hacking, cracking, and other. Oh, really? Things. So, if I want you to teach me how to act today, you will teach me how to act. <laughs> I want to hack an account, please teach me. No, in hacking, cyber security, <laughs> we look at the positive side, <laughs> not the negative, yeah, negative side. All right, thank you very much for that. So, we'll be going on a short break right now. See you soon. For information, transformation, education, keep watching Ego Studio. Thank you.
Welcome back. Still broadcasting live from Eagle Studio. Uh, Miss Josephine, my next question is this. In um, the course of your study, like after your um, study, I think your master's is for how many years? That's for one year and a few months. Okay, one year and a few months. So after your master's studies, where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Okay, um, uh, next 10 years, um, I, I hope to be working in a well-paid company mm -hmm. uh, and uh, also maybe probably a lecturer. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> yeah, and um, I would um, like to um, start up my own private business uh, like a computer center oh that's yeah. beautiful so just... and you're not talking i was hoping you were going to talk about building a family you're not even talking about building a family <laughs> in the next 10 years is it that you, you you don't have interest in i i have interest in that normal so um okay i have my own family <laughs> yeah you have your own children and Oh, oh, that's, that's, so my beautiful. that's so beautiful. <laughs> but um, after your studies here in Istanbul, do you still um, feel like you still want to stay in Turkey or you just want to go out to other countries and explore or just relocate? Or do you still feel to stay in, in, in Turkey after, you, after your course? Uh, for now, uh, I'm staying contemplating on that. Though it depends on um, how everything goes after my master's but I would like to either stay or relocate to another country. Thank you, right. Thank you very much for that Miss Josephine. Okay so my next question is this you know um in the course of taking cyber security as a course because you know the need cyber security me for me I think it's not just a, um, an ordinary course it's not a simple course compared to other courses you know it's 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 it takes people that are very very intellectual yeah. to do such course you know there would have been a lot of all these challenges and all of that how have you been able to overcome those challenges okay um in the course of the, my master's um the first challenge i had was um, accommodation relocating to Istanbul. Uh, and the second one is um, okay. When I started lecture, the the lecture time sometimes mm -hmm. is very long. Sometimes five straight five hours. Mm -hmm. I will be in class. Yeah, the class, so it's so stressful. And there are some things that uh, that I'm new to. Mm -hmm. So and uh, I have some difficulties, but with the help of, of my friends and uh, classmates. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was um, it relieved me. So um, other challenges, maybe the weather condition yeah. also. Uh, so it's also maybe shall be going to class you know, under the snow, yeah. under the sun, <laughs> under the rain. So yeah, but at the end, you were able to overcome those yeah. challenges. Thank you very much for that. Um, so. Um, you know, you, you, you do cyber security at Skoda University. Yes. How, 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 how has it been like with your lecturers? You know, you, you won't be the only one in your department. You have other white students yes. in your department. How has it been with those white students in your department? Has it been friendly or it's been harsh? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the relationship between you and other students in your department. Oh, the relationship. Normally, you know, um, everybody may not like you. Yeah. You may not like everybody. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there are some people that uh, I really have a good relationship with. Yeah. So, um, be it white or dark skin. Yeah. So, um, they are friendly. They are friendly. But most, people, most of them that I've contacted with, they, they, um, their response to me are very good okay so they are friendly and they are always ready to help you know yeah that's beautiful that's really beautiful so um this will be my last question to those young ones out there to those in their final years in the university that um choose to further their studies 
in cyber security for masters. What advice do you have for them? Okay, um, for those that um, want to pursue their masters in okay, cyber security, um, 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 cyber security is a very good course, and um, in the present world, is uh, of um, a very high demand. Yeah. So, um, like um, what they say, um, education is the key, key, and uh, no knowledge is lost. Is lost yeah. So, um, pursuing your masters in Cyber security will um, give you um, a, 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 a give you a way for um, a, a better opportunities and um, um, for you to um, get um, better jobs and um, to be exposed to the computer world. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Okay, um, it's just been advice to those out there that want to further their education in cyber security is. Uh, Amongst other courses, cybersecurity stands out yeah. to be one of the best, and cybersecurity will help you in getting a good job yes. home and abroad. It's going to help you to get a, a, a well paid job. That is the advice Miss Josephine has for us today out there. Thank you very much for coming on the show, Miss Josephine.